Denny Bonaducci is a name that's likely very familiar to many, particularly those who grew up in the 70s and 80s. He rose to fame playing the lovable Danny Partridge on the hit TV show The Partridge Family. In this video, we'll explore the highs and the lows of Bonaducci's life. Facts First presents Danny Bonaducci opens up about the addictions that ended his career. Danny Breaks His Silence The rise, fall, and redemption of Danny Bonaducci, once the lovable redhead from the Partridge family, makes for an intriguing tale. His transformation from a child star to someone who experienced a dramatic downfall and was often the butt of jokes isn't an unheard of phenomenon in Hollywood, but his journey was unique. It was admittedly a roller coaster of Hollywood tribulations involving substance abuse, rehab, and recurring appearances in tabloid stories, but at the same time, it had many high points worth mentioning as well. Danny's 2001 autobiography, Random Acts of Badness, fittingly encapsulates his tumultuous life. Bonaducci has also recently opened up about his life story in interviews, breaking years of silence on the matter. Now at 63, Bonaducci leads a content life in Seattle with his wife Amy. As a co-host of a popular morning talk and music show for KZOK-FM, his wit and rapid speech still reflect his earlier acting career, but in 2022, he briefly paused his radio activities due to a mysterious health issue causing stroke-like symptoms. We'll address that more a bit later. From childhood abuse to the spotlight, Danny's entry into Hollywood was somewhat unexpected. He was born August 13, 1959 in Philadelphia. His parents, Betty and Joe, met at Temple University in Philadelphia and married shortly after. Joe, a writer with markedly low opinion of actors, moved the family to LA in 1963 to sell a screenplay. As a child, Bonaducci suffered severe emotional and physical abuse at the hands of his ill-tempered father while his mother could only stand on the sidelines. Although his upbringing was quite traumatic and dysfunctional, Danny pressed on. And despite his father's disdain for acting, young Bonaducci soon found himself auditioning for roles, landing commercial gigs, and even working on popular sitcoms like Bewitched. A chance encounter at an L.A. diner led to a defining moment in his career. Overhearing the young boy quoting Henry David Thoreau, actor Richard Chamberlain advised Betty to find her son an agent. Danny's first significant role came when he was nine, in an MGM comedy drama called The Trouble with Girls where he shared a memorable scene with Elvis Presley. For an 11-year-old, starring in a hit sitcom and earning a significant income was thrilling, but the fame came with a fair share of trials. Of particular note is the fact that Bonaducci's personal and on-screen personas started to diverge significantly, as the wholesome Danny Partridge contrasted greatly with the party-loving Danny Bonaducci. Concurrently, his parents' divorce and his increasing weight further complicated his life. Addiction wreaked havoc in Danny's life. Bonaducci started experimenting with alcohol and drugs as a teen, an issue that escalated as he navigated the pressures and temptations of Hollywood. His descent into substance abuse became more severe following the cancellation of the Partridge family in 1974, a period marked by a lack of steady acting work and personal difficulties, such as his parents' divorce. In the 80s, his situation worsened. With little income and reduced celebrity status, he resorted to living in his car at times. His partying lifestyle also escalated during this period, fueled by regular visits to VIP rooms of Hollywood clubs. It was during this time that his struggles with alcohol and drugs became more public, further tarnishing his image and reputation. His problems with addiction reached a critical point in 1990. In a notorious incident in Florida, he was arrested in a drug bust while trying to purchase what he thought were drugs from an undercover police officer. In another high-profile incident a few years later, Bonaducci was involved in a street brawl and a high-speed police chase in Phoenix after picking up a person he believed to be a female sex worker, leading to more legal problems and public scrutiny. The Comeback Kid Despite his struggles with addiction and personal challenges, Danny managed to turn his life around and make a successful career comeback. In the mid-80s, his career started to improve after an interview with the popular Chicago disc jockey Johnny Brandmeier. Impressed by Bonaducci's sharp wit, Brandmeier invited him to appear on his show. 
This appearance reinvigorated Bonaducci's career, giving him a chance to display his humor and charisma in front of a large audience. In the following years, Bonaducci began to transition into radio and reality TV, carving a niche for himself as a host and personality. In 1991, he had the opportunity to tour with his former Partridge Family co-star David Cassidy. This experience, which involved opening for Cassidy's concerts with a stand-up comedy act, provided a significant boost to his public image and career. In the early 2000s, Bonaducci's life and career took another upward turn, when he became the subject of a reality show called Breaking Bonaducci. The series, which aired on VH1, chronicled his efforts to rebuild his life and career, offering viewers an intimate look at his journey towards sobriety and redemption. In addition to his work in reality TV, Bonaducci continued to make his mark in the radio industry. He co-hosted a morning talk show and music show on KZOK FM, a classic rock station in Seattle, for many years. And despite his brief hiatus due to health issues, he returned to the show and continued building his reputation. Danny's boxing career Another way he's been able to redeem himself is through charitable endeavors. Somewhat unexpectedly, he's carved out a niche for himself in the world of celebrity boxing. Not one to shy away from physical challenges, Bonaducci has taken his fighting spirit to the ring in the name of charity. In various instances throughout the 2000s, he's traded punches with other celebrities like Donny Osmond and Barry Williams, the former Brady Bunch star. These matches not only provided entertainment, but also raised funds and awareness for various causes. Danny's Terrifying Health Scare In June of 2022, Danny shared his recent health scare with viewers of Good Morning America. The incident began in April of 2022, when his wife Amy observed that his speech had become unusually incoherent prompting her to seek immediate medical assistance. In that interview, Bonaducci described his experience, saying he was unable to walk or maintain balance and that his speech was no longer intelligible. His wife was naturally perturbed and after calling 911, Danny was rushed to the hospital. Reportedly, he spent the initial five days in the hospital care with little recognition of the events. In a social media post from later that year, he disclosed his health struggles, stating he was in search of a diagnosis. His symptoms included impaired mobility, speech difficulties, and overwhelming fear. But despite numerous medical tests and a hospital stay, doctors couldn't pinpoint an exact cause, though they did rule out the possibility of a stroke. Having since returned to work after taking a two-month break, Danny now emphasizes the importance of health vigilance to his fans. He encourages everyone to pay close attention to their well-being and he remains grateful for the wave of support he's received during this challenging period. The Partridge family house has been demolished. A historic era, for television at least, has come to an end, marked by the recent demolition of the iconic house from the Partridge family in April 2023. Danny Bonaducci, following the house's destruction, expressed a few of his sentiments regarding the house and the memories he made there on social media. Approximately 50 years after appearing as a child actor with the same house as a backdrop, Bonaducci managed to pay a final visit in 2020. In a recent tweet, he shared a collection of photographs from this visit, reflecting on the nostalgia and the sense of loss that the house's demolition brings. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Danny Bonaducci's addiction issues led him to being homeless for a stint, living out of his car, and that he was arrested multiple times in the 80s and early 90s? Let us know in the comments section below.